What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so in the last episode, we defeated Team Magma, went through the, uh, you know, the lair and all that crud, and what did we do? Oh yeah, well, you know, we just found out that they're going to go after the ancient Pokemon, and now it's enabling us to go to Moss Deep City and all that crud. Now, off screen, I did, uh, I did... What, what did I do? I did buy some items because, yeah, we were kind of lacking in that department right there. And I switched up a few Pokemon for this occasion because we are going to be going into the sea. And what else? Taught him a few good moves and all that stuff because that's going to be fun, right? That will be fun. So let's go right ahead and use that Surf Attack. And yes, we still have uh, Swamp Lord on our team right here. So let's go right ahead and let's see. Let's see. We need a Repels. Yes, we need to use some Repels right here. Where is you repels that I've been using? Oh, yes, we filled up on super repels right here. And, well, let's continue on our adventure right here. Going into Route 124, and you will probably notice that there's a bunch of trainers around here. And I don't know why I did that. Okay, so let's go right here and switch out our Pokemon. And let's start it off with a good old buddy, Raiden, right here. Because there's a lot of water-type Pokemon trainers, including the occasional Whiskash and stuff. PokéNav Plus is waterproof. I have terrible sense of direction. And the Aerial Nav app is a must-have for me. Thanks to it, I can swim away, uh, swim away in an, any direction from Moss Deep City and come home safely. Is that so? Let's see. I'm looking at this Aerial Nav, and we are close. We are very, very close. There's quite a few things that we can actually find at in uh what was it in moss deep and all that stuff actually this ocean right here is just filled with a bunch of secrets so yeah it's gonna take us quite a few episodes to get through this whole uh you know the whole ocean area in the eastern side of hoenn right here but our main game is we got to get to moss deep because we got gym badges to win you know glory to get that kind of stuff and here we go discharge right in kicking butt yeah buddy look at that no more Okay, alrighty, alrighty. And that's a good one. And yes, we defeated uh, Jenny. Jenny from the block right there. Okay, so let's see. Uh, as you can see, boom. Area where you can actually dive. That will be explored later on. And if you talk to this guy, <laughs> you're riding a Pokemon instead of swimming yourself? I'm so jealous. Well, you're swimming. I mean, I'd rather swim, but whatever. Here we go. Taking on Roland, and he's coming out with a Celio. Look at this, it's an interesting Pokemon right here with a big old mustache. So, here we go. Our good old buddy, Mainectric, discharge attack for the win. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. It had no chance. No chance whatsoever. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. And Swamp Lord grows to level 46. Aaliyah grows to level 23. And she wants to learn double team. Eh, I guess it can learn something. Yeah, nah, never mind. Wants to learn double team for its moves? No. Give up double team? Yes. And Sparky grows to level 23 as well. Shroom Lee grows to 38. Yes, guys, I brought back Shroom Lee for this part right here because, yeah, why not? Need to grow my Pokemon. Need to take uh, action with that kind of stuff. And, well, we're going to be talking to this guy right here. Hey, are you lost at sea? If you can beat my Pokemon, I can guide you through the currents. Now, I kind of feel like there's no current around here, but this guy just whatever. So, here we go. Digging on Spencer. Coming with a Staryu. And you guys already know my uh, my little issue with uh, Staryu. Named him Patrick and didn't work out very well. So, away with you, Patrick. Although, I will bring him back here. Because it is a Pokemon I used. And look at that. It just falls flat on his back. Yes. And let's see gonna be coming out with the tentacruel so I'm gonna stay put right here the Raiden show featuring the God of Thunder Raiden kicking butt and destroying tentacruels zapping them into existence right there and it survived good god and there goes a the poison jab luckily we didn't get poisoned so let's finish this guy off with a little bit of a quick attack and that's that see how does it feel to fail it doesn't really feel that good right nope Look at that. More points, and Spencer has been defeated. He's like, I lost my bearings in the battle. Yes, you did. You lost your bearings. 
Okay, so moving on. Now we could go down south right here, but that would actually lead us to where Ma or uh, what was that place? Sutopolis is at. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep north right here, and you know we're very close to the border here of uh, Moss Deep. So let's talk to this girl. Hey, do you know what? Do you know what? Mm, I don't know. What I don't know. Let me explain then. Trying to surf with a Sharpedo, it's Go, it's go zooming and so fast and will make you feel so great. That is true, guys. If you have a Sharpedo with you, it will actually have its own sprite when you're surfing. And then it will just, like, zoom. Zoom quickly. Eventually, in Sun and Moon, that's explored a little bit further. A little, little bit further. And if you talk to this guy, he's like, I'm the diving treasure, uh, treasure hunter. I'm the, the awesome dude who goes deep sea diving to gather uh, treasures resting at uh, the bottom of the seas. You haven't got any treasures for me. If you see any shards like a red shard, you you got to trade me. And if you guys haven't seen this poster right here, um, every single shard, same color shard, will actually uh, equal a Pokemon stone that you can get. Like red shard to fire stone, uh, blue shard is a water stone, yellow shard is thunder stone, and the green shard is a leaf stone. So this is your man right here if you need any stones to evolve any kind of Pokemon. Of course, I don't really need him because I don't collect a lot of shards. What I do is I usually trade my Pokemon to uh, the Alpha Zapphire walkthrough or the Alpha Zapphire game and, you know, I just evolve them there and trade them back because why not? Let's see. I'm going to go with Shroom Lee because he needs to get to level 40. And let's go ahead and battle this later right here. I'm getting tired of swimming. How about a battle? Well, let's have a battle right here. So here we go, Swimmer Grace coming with their Whalmer, and uh, I think you could actually find Whalmer around here too. Pretty awesome Pokemon to actually have. It's a B-I-T-C-H to actually train up too, so let's go with the Mega Drain. There we go, and no more Whalmer. Critical hit. Oh my god, just kicked its butt inside and out, and Aaliyah growing to level 24, so is Sparky, and... Well, he's coming out with the Zoomerol, so we're going to continue on right here with Shroom Lee. Alright, Shroom Lee, you got this. It is a Fairy-type Pokemon, so you could use this. Venoshock. Bam. And that was super effective, but not very effective. Ah, oh, crud. And it's using Aqua Ring. Since we're in the ocean, yeah, it's going to be healing every single time. So let's go right ahead and go back to the Mega Drain. It's easier. And, wow, Azumarill right here has a lot of defense, and it's, uh oh, crud, using its uh, Aqua Tail, and it's still healing. Okay. Okay, you Pika Blue mother lover, let's go. That's right. Boy, or Venoshock again, and they, oh, did it? Yes, it did. See, I can't really see if it actually faints or not. That last one, the Tentacruel, yeah. Like, it didn't really faint, and I'm thinking, what the hell, and yeah, that kind of stuff. So, there we go, defeated her, and well, now let's use another repel right here, and let's cross over to the border right here. So, technically, right here, we're in the line to going into Moss Deeps. So now, here we are, Moss Deep City, and well, there are other stuff out here, but we're going to be going into Moss Deep. And here we have a big pearl. Should have uh, waited on selling that because I sold most of my big pearls and uh, big pearls and nuggets and starship, you know, all that kind of stuff. So here we are in the shore of Moss Deep City. This is actually a very important place because you will be able to find another gym badge right here. And so what we're gonna do right here is that, yeah, Moss Deep City, glorious town of Moss Deep. I'm going to pause the game right here because, uh, well. I can see that my quality of uh, internet is uh, acting up right here. So I don't want to be laggy or anything like that. So thank you guys for watching. In the next episode, we're going to be taking side quests, visiting Mo or taking a look at Moss Deep, going into the Ice Cave and all that stuff. And then after that, we're going to go with the gym battle. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.